Good evening. I'm Monica Mason. I'm Ashley Page. I remember the, the times you came back to give me notes after performances and, and you thought I'd done something really well and I said that was the worst I've ever done it. I remember that really clearly. <laughs> we could even uh, disagree if we were watching a dancer as to who oh, well, I was... Think, well, yeah, <laughs> let's hope we don't. find out. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I, I want to say what a great time we've had. Um, we're anticipating having with these awards. And I don't think that, although you and I have known each other a very long time, um, that we've ever sat down and had a conversation about choreography and musicality. I think that's probably true, yes. The idea of uh, separating music and choreography is impossible to do. The two are mm. inextricably yeah, linked. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yes. And of course, there's all different, all sorts of different kinds of musicality. Yeah. Um, there, are, there are dancers, I mean, this is a, a longer conversation, but there are dancers who, you know, are very um, obviously musical in that they dance very much to the music. Mm -hmm. Then there are those dancers that, and sometimes it's the same dancer, can also, um, use the phrasing of something they're given to do yes. to bend it a little bit yes. and, and buy a little bit of time there and catch yes. up there. Yes. That's what I, what I really love is when you get a dancer that understands how to do that and they don't need to necessarily have to be told, oh, just pull that out a bit there because you can catch up there. Mm -hmm. They just instinctively know. And something. this is surely why I think the introduction of the Musicality Award in this competition has, it's, it's really wonderful. Yeah. And I mean, I, th I think that that's what, um, you know, one is looking instinctively mm, yeah. responds, mm. who breathes with the music. And, yes, yeah, and so yeah. that the music and the choreography, really, it's like fish and chips. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> you can't separate them, they go together. No, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I also wonder about the ability to sing the music. Yes, yeah. Because uh, I know that as a dancer, I used to sing the music to yeah, myself. That's a really good point. When actually. I was at home, sitting quietly, or lying in bed, trying to go to sleep, visualizing a particularly tricky piece of choreography and singing the music. That you were it. working on. Yes. Yes, yeah. I think if, for instance, if you're a teacher uh, making a solo uh, for your student, um, the way you approach that, I mean, there are, there are many ways you could approach it, but I think that, that one of the key things should be that you recognize the abilities and particular qualities of your student and you try to show that off, you know, enhance, enhance it in the choreography. But also I think there's a, um, there should be an element of stretching the, the, that student and, and, and by, through that they can grow as a dancer and develop by inviting them to discover new things about their abilities and their talents. I think that the amount of opportunities um, for dancers these days is so wide, so that I think to prepare them for the world that they are hoping to be a part of, it's crucial that they should have experienced a very um, eclectic, really. Mm -hmm. Broad uh, range of... Yes, yeah. of, of choreography. So I think anything that, that provides an opportunity for people to, to for young people to make work, uh, to choreograph, is good because um, you actually, I think you also learn a lot more about it, about yourself as a dancer. But I think just getting, getting yourself in a studio and, um, and making, making movement is, is great. This is why I think um, it is so vital that choreographic um, talent is assessed in this competition. Yes. Because yeah. it's not a question of just being a dancer. You have to be part of the creative yes, process. Yeah. You have to understand what that process is. Are we done? <laughs>